Welcome to the FL Studio 24 tutorial where I will show you how to create a song from scratch and after following this tutorial you'll have your very first song to go and you have very basic understanding on how to create your own project just like this one. If you're excited as I am, let's go! When you first open up FL Studio 24 this is the welcome screen that you see. You can start with a blank project but today we are going to start with a little bit of help, namely the chord progression creator and can click here. Your project will load up a fresh chord progression you can start off. Hit the space button and you will hear your first chord progression. This is all done for you with some AI help. But if you want different ones, you can slide to Adventurous, which I wouldn't recommend as a beginner, or more conventional, which is more popular and more common chord progressions. So for you, I would advise to start here. Then you see here a chord progression, now you don't need music theory, I mean a scale. You can edit this scale and all the notes inside of the scale will come together. I would recommend the minor natural one or the major one. I right click on this, major sounds more happy and minor sounds more sad. Well, today let's go for this one. And a C minor is a pretty popular one, so you can choose one. Then you can hit generate. And now, in scale, we have different chords. And let's listen to this now. Let's say I, uh, I really like these. I can lock them into place. Or I can just solo this one out and choose random ones. Let's say, let's swap this out. Okay, this is very interesting. What you can do then is change the rhythm. So you can try along with this and sound something like this. Okay. Play or stop here or with the spacebar, and if you are happy with it, you can hit accept. And now this is your very first chord progression. These here are the bass notes down below, these here are the rest of your chord notes. Now you can make things wider, smaller here with this button, or here from the side, from right to left, and can navigate like this. Right click on the snap to scale button, and then, I like to set this, right click, minor natural, Left click, let it disappear and see. So you can see the light notes here are in key. You can also click snap to scale on or off. I like this on because then when I click somewhere, it will snap into scale, which all my notes will sound, well, most of the time, good together. See, it skips the black notes. And you can place notes here together. You can make them longer, shorter, whatever you like. And let's try to place some notes in here. Inside of the scale, of course. Change up the rhythm. Can move them. Can change the rhythm, right click on the rhythm, and then you can click one here. Or you can type in a value, let's say 120, hit enter. Control click selects it. Shift, drag, will drag these out. I can have duplicate. And to make things more interesting, you can change the notes slightly or add them. To make it more interesting, you can keep some. And it's what we got so far. Stop here. Then we go here to this button. We see here a pattern. Right now our music, and let's also drag in here the generic. By the way, you can see you can see the shortcuts here, F6. You can see this is created for us. When I click here, double click, you can go to the piano roll. Or here on top, you can also see this piano roll on off. What is selected, or you can double click to go there. When I click pattern, only this pattern is playing. 
me hit song it plays everything in song and we can have multiple layers or patterns of different instruments playing together this way you can create a song you can see the bar here it starts here from the beginning or from the end let's say i don't like these drums i can right click and i can delete these and let's create a drum layer in a separate uh, pattern for this so click here on the plus button type in drums and let's say the drums they come here from here let's say and i can click here on pattern one this is this one and i can click here by the way you can set this magnet to beat to half beats or even to steps i set this now to beat and here the drums you can work back on pattern one i click on drums and now here i can have my folder and if you don't see this you need to drag this out with my packs and in my packs i have some music by the way right click open here in windows and you can drag files from the internet in there there are packs everywhere look to the left look to the right there everywhere then click in drums kicks you can by the way also type in kick here you can see multiple kicks you get some from the program I can click on uh, these to uh, hear them and it's a fun part for me so drag this in if you really like it and then what you can then do it's in the drums layer so make sure drums is selected so we can see this is empty but I can always work back on it select the drums layer I'm going to right click and fill each four steps then holding right mouse button I want to hear this part of the song so then it loops over so I can hear my drum parts when I hit here on song this button or the space bar okay this is very repetitive so I can click here right click set it again to each four steps so one is kick two three four kick and so on so let's extend this okay now I can copy my drums over and let's say from this part on control click to remove the selection you can also start here also right click mouse can go here i can from here on say make this one unique and you can see drums 2 is added so whatever i change in here won't be affected by this one so in drums 2 let's say i want to add some snare let's add this here on each other kick and maybe add in some heads so uh, let's see what file this could be let's dive in this heads folder click here you can see the closed heads and then the open heads they're a little bit longer so maybe the closed heads is cool right click fill each two steps right. you can also click in some rolls here and change the velocity of these notes for example also here okay so far we got our melody we got our drums coming in so control click here and then from the start let's start here and then here our drums come in and all so we got here our layer we got here our piano roll so i can also edit the hi-hats in here or any other thing from my track when i select the right thing of course then the channel rack where we just edited the music in here and right here next to the folders we also have our mixer so when i open with f6 my channel rack select the pattern one you can see this is number one so when i go here master affects all the patterns and audio and the chords here are on number one which here is number one so they already add an effect the reverb let's control to click to solo this one out even here control click solos this one out this without effect this with the effect it's some reverb so you can even change it 
presets like a guitar hit roll, disable it or enable it, or you can just half the effect. You can also add in more. Click here, click select, and then for example, add an EQ. So you can see which frequencies you want to boost or remove. And I want to remove here the sub and the bass from it because this will be reserved for my bass layer and my kick. So there's an easy preset for this. I like this one to start out with. I can slide it. This is too much. And this frequency is too much. Okay, to here because I hear no real difference here. And this is the reach that I want to because else my muddy uh, mix won't be very good, okay? And you can do this for other effects as well. So if you go to drums, for example, drums 2, you can see here, well, maybe I like some reverb on my snare. You can click on this, or you can set a number here on the mixer track. If I set this to number one, it will have the same effects as here. But let's say I want a free one, click on the word track. The next free one, number five, will be available. Let's go here to track five. And by the way, also control click to solo this one out. And then also in the mixer, control click on this one, solo this one out. You can add a reverb right here. And make sure we're in here. And now we can hear the reverb effect. F9 to open up the mixer. For example, here in a large hall. And these are some basic effects, okay? To bring in all elements again on F9, make sure control click, these are all selected again. And also here control click here on the channel rack. effect is a bit too much but you get the point okay and then you can add in layers upon layers this one was created with the chord progression layer this one was uh, brought in from here from the side panel but you can also bring in uh, other ones like instruments so click here so uh, secondary layer or something and let's bring us in from here for example so with this one selected hit f6 channel rack right now you see nothing here because you need to select the patterns for this, click here. Let's add an instrument. So for example, I really like flex, click on flex. And you can browse through here. Maybe a guitar, or you can just click all, go through the text. For example, hit some uh, keys on your keyboard. For now, I'm going to choose some uh, guitars. Maybe a chill guitar can do wonders, right? Right click, go to piano roll, with this one selected, I'm in the piano roll. Right click here, okay, this is still in key with my previous ones, which is what I want. And let's tweak this here. I like to start out with some root notes. Let's go with a one, then two, three, this is basic one, two, three, four, five, sixth one, five, four. There's a pretty common chord progression. And then skip note, skip note creates basic chords. So only select the pattern if you want to work on this pattern alone. Same process here. Very easy way to create chords. Control error up. Let's see one octave higher. Still in key. Bit too high. So I go down, I can control shift select these notes, shift click, control arrow down, and I have more bass notes, like a double layer of these bass notes. And if you like, you can control shift, shift click, control arrow down to repeat this process again. You can create fuller chords by skip note, skip note, and then skip note, skip note again. But I'm going to show you another way to do this. This is called voicing. So you can see there's a, bitty, there's a pretty big gap from here to here. What you can do then 
is Ctrl select this, Ctrl arrow down, and bring this down. So these align, and these are more together. Okay. This will be can also work. Ctrl arrow down, Ctrl arrow down. This is a bit too much, maybe. I like this one here, so we have some more flavor in here. And this can be a chord progression that we created ourselves with some very basic music theory and help of snap to scale. You can spice it up in different ways with the tools. For example, you can go here and then you can, uh, well, maybe chop this up, change the time. Okay, can then undo this. I removed my base layer for these effects. Well, I mean, I'm going to keep this, uh, this base layer, of course. Another effect, arpeggiate. Can set the time for this. This will do be fine. Can set the normal flip and exit. Okay, and then you can bring it in like here. So this can be, when you hit song, a very basic example. Now, this won't uh, break the record charts, but you get the point of adding layers, working here in the playlist with the piano roll, with some drums. If it affects, you can download online or find here, ready to go. And let's listen to our very first basic song that we created. Okay, now uh, go to your mom, show her your project, she will be very proud. And once again, this is just very basics to get started with. When you get the hang of these, you can create uh, songs, you can start creating them. There's many more things to discover in here, but uh, I hope this got you started. Well, have fun creating.